Howdy everyone, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. In today's fast fusion tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use a loft, or sometimes called a blended sweep. It's called a blended sweep because like a sweep, we're gonna go from one plane to another following a path, but this time it changes the geometry. So for example, let's say I wanted to make a square nozzle and a circular hose connector. How would I make that? Well, I'd use a loft. So as always, we're gonna start with a sketch and we'll start with our circle for our hose connector. Just like that. Now we want to go from a square. So, I mean, where can we sketch? You know, we have these up and down planes, we have this horizontal plane, but we want to make a new one. We want to come into construct, offset plane, and we want to make an offset plane up from their original one, and we'll just say 60 millimeters. Now on this plane is where we can sketch the uh, square for our blended sweep or for our loft. Now we need one more thing. We need a path of which it's gonna follow. So we'll just draw a line here in the middle. And this circle will follow this line to this square. Now one thing we see is this square has four points versus our circle has no points, if you remember fifth grade geometry. Um, what it's gonna do is that's called a vertice and a Fusion 360 is gonna take care of us for it. It's gonna take care of that for us. So let's see, let's do a loft. We wanna select our profiles. Well, it's that profile and this one, and it automatically filled in the, uh, the path for us. But you can see here that you know it automatically put these vertices here. We can change where these vertices are if we wanted to, but that's a nice option. So what else would you use this for? Let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's say we wanted to go from something like an I-beam to a T-beam and we're just eyeballing some stuff. And we wanted to take it up, like we said, to a T-beam. And we want to follow that trajectory. So let's do it. Let's do our loft, that one to that one. And we can kind of see how, you know, we have these extra vertices, how we can take and kind of play around with these to get really the shape that we want. So you know, anyway, that is how you do a loft in Fusion 360. Please like, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you want to learn. Thanks for watching.